Coming right up, LG26 Takara Scourge. Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers and Stuff Reviews. So, LG26 Scourge from Takara Tomy. This is the box. As always, artwork of the figure. The headmaster goes here, his gun and car mode. On the side, another illustration on the back. The two modes, the Headmaster comic book on the other side, again, all of them with uh, another mode of the gun and the Headmaster inside. Very nice. So the figure, Scourge, comes in his spaceship mode. Very cool. Um, the Headmaster can go here on the gun, mounted on the spaceship or inside the cockpit here like this and you close it down and you have a more G1 or cartoon accurate uh, space mode uh, spaceship mode anyway I'll try and do this uh, very very quickly um, the Karatomi are very good in their um, cartoon accurate uh, colors and paint this is why it looks as the way it is um, very nice Decepticon emblem here, split into two. Um, I found out that there is a little problem here with closing this gap because once you tab these two pieces, it forms this gap. If you want to avoid the gap, you need to disconnect one piece like this and then you can achieve a more uh, narrow gap. Anyway, um, colors, like I said, very show accurate. These fins are an addition of this uh, character. Uh, these two boosters are supposed to be um, on the bottom, but for the new design, they are on the side, which is okay, I guess. Um, underneath, you can see most of the robot mode. On the back, these two boosters, and here, pretty much okay. This is the course signature uh, beam on his head just like in the cartoon very nice and the gun itself very cool all in all a great uh, spaceship mode I really like it like I said all of these characters are a bit smaller uh, to my MP collection but as a Chuck collection they are very good in scale scaling next to Toy World's Bumblebee and Voyager, Titan Returns or Legends, the Kara, um, Galvatron, like you, as you can see, it's small. If it was a Voyager, it would have been awesome and probably fit better in my Masterpiece collection. Anyway, and this is how he measures up next to Blur. They look good together. Anyway... And we also receive the lovely instructions as always, which are, as always, I have a beautiful, beautiful illustration of the character. Very cool, with the signature mustache and everything. On the back, stats and two modes. Inside, the comic book story. Again, you can see here, um, it's some sort of a... Daydream of one of Scourge's heads about, I guess, the movie Scourge because he has the painted uh, fingernails and the rounded uh, wings. But uh, eventually, it's a bit different. Uh, no painted fingernails and the wings aren't rounded, they are very squarish. And we'll see it in a minute uh, with the figure itself. Oh no, it's a very weird story, I guess. And the instructions themselves, again, as always, pretty much easy uh, to do. Nothing complicated. And that's that. Anyway, transformation. Again, very simple. Open these uh, flaps here. They will create the wings on his back. Uh, then uh, the legs themselves 
you unfold like this you take um, the nose cone here I guess and fold it like that and open the toes like this uh, this piece is here you close to close the gap and form the front size of his legs so now the legs are almost done and we just need to rotate them like this uh, sorry like this okay uh, now in order to push down his body you need to remove the headmaster and remove this piece here and just push down it will collapse and click at the end now unfold uh, untab the arms like this unfold his fists you can already see that I modified and painted them purple yes I'm all about the show accuracy baby and that's it just put his head where it's supposed to go and mount this on here you have a triple barreled gun and you are ready to rock and roll and this is Scourge I really like this character he looks fine he looks awesome he looks great very show accurate again um, if I have the time you probably see here comparison next to his character in the show I like the head sculpt also very cool red eyes painted mustache oh yeah the fin goes up nice um, Decepticon symbol here uh, two shades of blue uh, the wings like I said are very straight round like in the show but this is just because how it is and um, how this character is and articulation the arms and shoulders are very articulated in and out up and down 360 biceps elbow uh, no waste due to transformation and um, no wrist due to transformation and no waist swivel due to transformation uh, legs can go anywhere you want them to and bend this is as much as they can bend 90 degrees I guess and the toes can move transformation is the reason um, the head of course ball joint because of the headmaster I know it's a great figure I only wish again it was bigger and this is how he measures up next to other headmasters figures and if he was a voyager I would have left him for my masterpiece collection but he's not so that's a bummer anyway um, if uh, I also uh, painted here red just like in the movie or in the show in the series and the boosters ears this is red because I painted them again they are unpainted usually and uh, that's it folks I hope you enjoyed this review I try to do it very quickly and very informative as I can uh, stay tuned share like subscribe look at the description below and uh, go to my page on Facebook thanks for watching guys see you next time bye bye